Welcome back to Newsday's special election night coverage. I'm Drew Scott. We're coming to you from the new state of the art studios. Right now we're taking a look at some of the results coming in. Now for the race for president, the President Trump is leading in the popular vote slightly over Joe Biden, 50 to 48 percent. However, in the battleground states are not in as yet, so those are preliminary results. Now, back here at home in District 2 in the Congressional District, Jackie Gordon and Andrew Garbarino. Garbarino is leading there by a few votes, uh, 53 to 46 percent. Newsday just caught up with Jackie Gordon. She says she see is still optimistic. I have a really good feeling. Democrats come out, and when Democrats come out, um, we do better. And I think Democrats have realized that we need a change. And so I think they are coming out and I think they're letting their voice be heard. Tonight's going to be a good, good night. And um, it's going to be a good night for the second congressional district. It's going to be a good night um, for the country. And um, change is on the horizon. That's Jackie Gordon uh, there in that race in the third congressional district now. Tom Swazi, the incumbent versus George DeVolder Santos. Uh, Swazi is leading 55 to 44 percent there. In the fourth congressional district, Kathleen Rice leading over Douglas Tuman 58 to 41 percent. Now the state Senate race district six, Kevin Thomas versus Dennis Dunn. Thomas, the in one term incumbent, is ahead 55 to 45. That's the very latest from the Newsday Election Headquarters. I'm Drew Scott, and remember, you can always get all of the latest election results on Newsday.com.